Yo, what's good everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we got a fun one again. This is going to be a follow up to my last video, so if you haven't seen it already, go check it out. I unboxed the Apollo Go and today it was my first time riding on it. Let me tell you how it was. Now all we got to do is set up the app. So once you got it downloaded, you make your account and you should be greeted with this screen. Let's turn it on. It's on. Hit I'm ready. Allow the Bluetooth no scooter found and we're back all i did was reset the app and it found the scooter so let's hit that let it connect connection successful your scooter has been successfully connected to your device click continue button to begin the scooter verification process continue checking motor name your scooter set up the pin is everything okay with your apollo go please examine the scooter and ensure everything is secure take a closer look at all the components connections and wiring everything is fine and there you go continue press the power button once to change gears gear one is eco gear two is comfort and gear three is sport that's going to be on your right side so you press the mode button once to turn the light on or off over here it says to press the mode button twice to turn the stem lights on or off so that's this light there you go so it looks like there's one setting for the brightness on it maybe we can change it in the app Let's continue on here. All right, so here it says it's connected. This is my area where I'm at. You got activity, you got the ride history, statistics, your distance, duration, top speed, average speed, distance of your longest ride, and duration of your longest ride. So if we hit the middle tab again, we're in the navigation section. If we go down here, we swipe up. This is our info for our scooter. You got the percentage range, how much there's left. You can lock it so it doesn't move. Right now it says parked. You can unlock it so it doesn't go. Here, let's do face ID. All right, so we hit the ride button. It'll start the ride. It'll count down the duration, how much consumption of the battery you've used, the distance you go, how fast you're going, and all that. In order to finish, hold it down. It's an invalid ride detected, probably because we didn't even move it but yeah so just delete it for now and then the three dots down here here you got more settings so we'll start from the right side i believe this is to set the cruise control to whatever speed you're going at this is the light over here here we can change the different sport modes or we'll change it over here and then for the settings we go in here we could also change the ride mode from here to top here you can change the speed limit per ride mode. So right now it's at 25 kilometers per hour for Eco. Comfort, 45 kilometers per hour. Sport, I did the maximum at 60 kilometers per hour. Here the battery, you got the battery percentage, the capacity, and the voltage. Down here we could activate cruise control. You could toggle it. It says toggle on to enable the option to use cruise control on your scooter. So we do want to have that toggled on. And kickstart, so we want this on. I actually had this off before and I pulled the trigger and it moved on me really quickly so you want this on and it'll keep you safe and here for the advanced settings you could change the top speed i maxed it out save that and then for the acceleration and braking if we go in here it'll let you change the level for the acceleration response if you want a fast acceleration for when you're riding the scooter just go maximum that's probably what i'm gonna do and for the regen brake um i think i'll keep this in maximum just to see how it is for now we could obviously change it as we go cruise control time activation We'll put this, we'll keep it at six seconds, see how that feels. And then shutdown time, we'll keep it at 10 minutes. All right, let's click the right tab. We got more settings. Here you got personal info. Here you got my scooters. If you have multiple scooters, you could choose that here. All right, let's see. For the survey, yeah, I'm not doing that. Mileage, it'll show you the activity again. So you're back on the left side for security. We could add uh, biometrics. For app settings here, you could change the unit of measurement. I'll do Imperial and Fahrenheit. We go back to app settings and it says auto ride, enable to automatically start and end ride recording when connected to your scooter. We'll just keep that on so we can track it automatically. And then auto connect, enable to automatically connect your most recently used scooter when you open Apollo app. I only have one, so that's that. Help and service, if you need some extra support, there's that for you and then about but yeah that about wraps it all up for this let's get to the ride all right guys first time on let's let's do this yeah so today was pretty cold it was actually the only sunny day of the week so it was a good time to ride definitely windy though which is probably why i'm out of breath right now 
suspension feels good. Right off the rip, you could tell how smooth the ride was. Uh, let's see how fast we can go. Feels so smooth. Like the suspension feels so nice. I kind of get over how smooth the ride was. All right, so right here, we're by the park close to my house. It was a pretty sunny day too, so it was the perfect day to ride. So I wanted to test the high speed here. So I wanted to test the top speed here, but there was no like straight line to go to. This park is basically in the shape of a circle, so. I think we managed to get the top speed here somehow, so let's see. Oh, and that matrix right there, the dotted matrix, is not really flickering in real life. It's just because of the frame rate. Hello, do you guys hear the wind? All right, let's try to go top speed around this house, around this circle. Yeah, it was really windy. It would be better if with a straight line, but there is no line over here. Let's see how fast we can go. You could kind of tell that I have allergies right now because of the way my nose feels all clogged up. And it's hella windy right now. My hat's about to fall off my face. My face? <laughs> yeah, that wind was getting to me apparently. So yeah, the, I don't feel any bumps on this thing. The suspension is really good. That's probably my fifth time saying that, but yeah, props to them on the suspension. You could jump on this and feel nothing. Let's test the regen brakes, pretty good so far. Okay, I'm gonna test the regen brakes right now. Really fast, really fast. And... Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I was about to curse here, but then I saw yeah, some little kids good. on the side, Very so smooth. I tried not to. It's really strong, to be honest. That's I facts. was gonna hold it down on the regen, but it was gonna break too abruptly. So these are very strong brakes over here. All right, let's test out the manual brake. No, very strong too. So these are rear brakes and they feel pretty strong as well. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using those though. It's kind of unfortunate that the scooter doesn't use two of these brakes, one on the front and one on the rear. That's facts. It would be a nice addition to it, but hey, they got to cut costs somewhere, right? But the regen brake definitely makes up for it. Turn signal. The signals are such a nice addition to the scooter. That nah, feels good. Okay, real quick guys, I'm here to announce a new giveaway. Once this channel gets to 1000 subscribers, I will be giving a random subscriber a $100 gift card or 100 bucks in Bitcoin, whichever you guys prefer. And this one's real easy. All you gotta do is subscribe to this YouTube channel. Tell all your friends and let them know this will be the easiest 100 bucks they could ever possibly win. All right, time to go in.
Hello. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna try level two. It's definitely a lighter pickup, but it's very smooth. This is the level you might wanna be just, this is the level you wanna be cruising at. Okay, so I held it down for, I don't know, I'd say like six seconds, and I think that's the default cruise control time. Yeah, so that's default cruise control time. You can change that in the settings. But um, yeah, so right now you can see I'm not holding on the trigger to accelerate, but it's just cruising on its own. All right, let's go on the outer circle. Okay, so I deactivated the cruise control. Whoa, almost fell there. I deactivated the cruise control by raking. Not too sure what the, oh, wasn't too sure why that was beeping, but maybe to signify that the cruise control was turned off. Yeah, this is such a nice speed for this scooter. I can't even imagine going faster. And we're back. All right, should we test it on the grass? Feels pretty good. The bumps are very minimal. Oh yeah, that feels nice. And these big cracks on the road are pretty above, they're pretty much above average cracks that you would find. And this thing is tanking it easily. All right, now let's test level one. I know I kind of did it backwards, but who cares? Okay, that bump felt like nothing. And yeah, this is cruising real slow. This is like a walking speed. If you're a real beginner, maybe this is the level you're gonna keep it at, but yeah, this is way too slow. Level two is definitely the sweet spot. Yeah, that felt like nothing. All right, so I think this is where we test the top speed. Let's see. Of course, this lady's gotta be in my way. Yeah, so at this point, I'm numb. My hands are numb. And I think I just wanted to get back to the crib. But um, yeah, so this should be the top speed right here. All right, this is top speed. All right, this is top speed. All right, this is top speed. Yeah, so it hit 44 kilometers per hour. It's not exactly the top speed that it was rated for, which was 28 miles per hour, but it was very close. That lady beeped at me for no reason. She had no left turn signal on at all. I don't know why she beeped at me. Maybe she got scared or something. Alright guys, I think it's getting a little too cold. Let me ride back home and then I'll give you some more of my thoughts all right so overall this thing came at the right moment spring just started so it was the perfect time to kick this scooter into gear for my first electric scooter the Apollo Go really came in clutch I love how smooth the ride was especially that airflow suspension actually if I remember correctly I'm pretty sure they weren't gonna put that suspension into the scooter in the first place I think after a few iterations of the scooter being made they finally decided to add it its turn signals and its 360 degree lighting makes this scooter look really futuristic all right so I've already said all the great things about this scooter but what are its downsides for one the bell sucks you can't even hear it from far distances i understand cutting costs for one of the mechanical brakes but for a bell i feel like they could have easily incorporated it with the speaker instead instead of having it sound like a toy bike so i guess if you want this feature you're gonna have to go with the apollo pro it's much more expensive though so yeah i think those are the main downsides 
I mean, it would have been cool if they could add customizability for the light. That would have been sick. But anyways, guys, that wraps it all up. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Peace.